The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's the little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. There's the tiny caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. So there he is down there, he's still really small. The next day was Sunday. Again, the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. There he is, gotten big. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. So, today we're going to make our own caterpillar. So what I started with was some green paper, green construction paper, and I cut it into strips. And then each of those strips I made into a circle. So you can use glue. If you have glue at home, glue works fine. You just need to give it a little bit of time to dry before you put all your pieces of your caterpillar together. So glue works fine. Or if your parents have a stapler and they let you use it, or if your parents can help you use it, you can also use a stapler. So you can make your caterpillar as long as you like. He does eat lots in the story, so he could be big and long. You can make your circles as fat or as small as you like. So basically I just assembled the circles together. And again, if you need to glue them and let them dry at home, you can do that. So we'll attach all of our circles. And your caterpillar doesn't have to be perfectly even. Usually when caterpillars crawl, they bump up and down so you can make him, you can make parts of him taller or shorter. So, if 
for his face. If you look on your book, you can uh, take a piece of red construction paper and I just looked at how large his face was compared to his body and I drew an oval and then he has some little sensors or little antennas up here. So I drew those and then he has nice big eyes and a nose. You can color those in so that he, you can see his eyes. You can use your markers or your crayons or your pencils or whatever you have at home. And we'll cut that out. your glue or your stapler and you can attach his face. If you look from the side when you attach his uh, circles, some of them uneven, he looks like he's crawling. <clears throat> so there's your caterpillar.